Uh, hi everyone, we're we're pack break here on the podcast. Uh, my name is Greg, and I am Brody. <laughs> Or, yeah. <laughs> so you're off to a bad start. Wait, wait. Rough start, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm I'm Greg, and this here is Brody with me. Hello. <laughs> so uh, we just want to talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff that uh, we're a little bit familiar with, I'd say, given our given what we design here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about payload versus towing when it comes to using your truck in the, when you're going to haul in your fifth wheel or you know, just taking some dirt back to work on your yard. Um, big difference between the two, honestly, is payload is obviously what you can carry in the back of your truck, just whether you're throwing a big load of dirt in the back versus towing is when you're towing something behind, you have a trailer hooked up, whether it's your fifth wheel, whether it's a trailer just off your hitch. It's, it's a big difference, especially when it comes to using airbags. It's helpful to know exactly what you're getting into, especially when you're, say, combining the two. A lot of people like to go on vacations, they hook up their trailer, and then they throw their barbecue in the back of their truck or their bikes or any different sort of stuff that they want to take with them. So properly knowing what you're dealing with is pretty important. So when we talk about payload and towing, some people throw those terms around interchangeably, but they are quite different. Payload is what your truck can carry. What can you put in the box that it can still drive with versus towing is how much can your truck pull? What'll be behind the truck when you're using a hitch or a fifth wheel? Uh, as far as trying to increase your payload towing, there's no, there is no way to increase it without getting a government facility to inspect it and get it rated higher and as far as the regular customer is going, like the regular backyard worker, Joe Schmo, getting that increased, it's a pretty expensive thing to do and it doesn't really give you much in terms of helping you, helping you with your daily activities because the truck itself is, that payload and towing rating, those are based off of more than just what your suspension can handle, right? That's based off of what your brakes can handle, your engine, so whether if you have a full load in the back of your truck, you're trying to go up, say, a 12% grade, you, if you haven't upgraded the components in your truck to match the increase from, it, say, if you do put airbags in the back of your truck to get that extra load carrying capability, that doesn't mean your brakes can handle more, your engine can handle more, your transmission can handle more. Those are all limiting factors as well. So making sure that the rest of your truck can handle what you're doing is really important. Whereas airbags will help you essentially don't think of an airbag as increasing your load carrying capacity more as helping you maintain a good ride while carrying that same load. Because essentially what an airbag does is it's an assist spring that helps your suspension, ha it, it raises your suspension up by increasing the spring rate between the two because you have the spring rate of your, of your leaf springs and then you have this added air spring which depending on the pressure you put in it has a specific spring rate. So as you add more air to your, to your airbags, it increases the spring rate. Therefore, you can, it, your truck can handle more load in a safe manner. So as opposed to being fully loaded without airbags, your suspension is completely sagged out. You lose a lot of your suspension stroke because you're so overloaded. By having airbags in there, you gain some of that suspension stroke back and your truck can handle much nicer when you're going on long highways, big curves, tech corners, that kind of stuff. It just essentially makes your truck handle better while you're carrying the load. Yeah, and to add to that, as Greg said, when, the, when you're loaded up, the back end's gonna sag down. That'll cause your front end to lift up as well. When you're lifting the front, you're gonna lose some of the load that you have on those front tires. You'll lose some of the traction in those front tires, lose some steering capability, lose some of the braking. That's something when you have the airbags in and you level back out, you put that load back on, you maintain your good steering quality, maintain the traction for braking and improve your safety. Yeah, has been, I've seen a lot of bad stuff because I, I, I spent a lot of time installing truck accessories. I've worked in automotive for uh, eight plus years now. So specifically installing components on trucks, doing some of, some of the, uh, Stranger things I've seen is I've seen a customer put a class five hitch onto a Chrysler Intrepid and install seven pin wiring. 
um, to try and tow a trailer with a Chrysler Intrepid, which do not ever do. That is absolutely terrifying. Um, we highly recommended that this customer get the right vehicle for what they're doing. And some people you can't stop and you just got to try and convince them to do the right thing, but you never can. It's other than that, I've seen some stuff where they get the wrong size hitch put on their truck. So their tongue is now pointing downwards into the road, which creates excess tongue weight, which is really bad for when you're towing, if you have excess tongue weight, it essentially puts extra load on the back of your truck, which is taking room away from your payload. So by doing such, you're essentially taking something that your truck can normally handle fairly well. But if you put excessive tongue weight on it, you're loading your truck extra from what it should be. So th one thing to keep in mind is keeping your tongue weight, I wouldn't say to a minimum, because you want to make sure you have tongue weight if it's too light. It, uh, it'll try and pull, it has the exact opposite effect where it tries to pull the back end of your truck up, which then, like Brody was saying, when you have too much weight in your, in your truck, it pulls the back end down. If you do the exact opposite by having an over, like a negative tongue weight where it's pulling up on the truck, it's pulling that weight off the back tires and you get uh, trailer sway. It's, uh, it's really hard to drive when you have that. It essentially, it's trying to pull the back end of your truck up while you're driving and you lose some some of that steering capability. It's very it's hard to explain if you've never felt it because when you're driving down the road, it's it's like your the back of your truck weighs less than it normally does. So when you go to brake, you don't get that same braking feel, that same steering feel. It's it's a very odd feeling to have, and it's you feel like you're not as in control. So something to keep in mind when you're loading up your truck is try and keep a a nice even weight balance on say if you have a flat deck trailer. Try and make sure that you put the load over top of the axle to make sure that you don't have too much weight on the tongue, too much weight on, on the back end of the trailer because that'll give you either excess tongue weight or creating the opposite where it's trying to pull up on the back of the hitch. It's try and keep a nice even load and that's the way that your truck will handle the load best is when you're trying to keep, a, I wouldn't say a zero tongue weight, you want a little bit of weight on your tongue but not too much. Yeah, probably best analogy for having too little tongue weight that pulls it up. It's like turning your rear tires into those swivel wheels that you find in a shopping cart. You lose all the stability that you have in those rear wheels and you got the trailer trying to push the vehicle from behind and you end up just turning into a jackknife and going off the road. Yeah, so we just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to keep up with updates from Pack Break, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Mm -hmm.